Hey everybody, I've got a really cool trick to show you. It's very simple uh, and very effective. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start by just mixing up my cards, giving them a good shuffle and a good bunch of cuts. Alright, so I'm going to have the spectator, which is uh, you guys. I'm going to have you guys pick a card. So let's say you pick this one right here. Uh, completely free selection, so there you go. See it? Uh, I'm going to have you put it in anywhere you want, let's say right here, okay, ripple through, I've got no breaks, okay, I'm gonna shuffle your card in there, get it really uh, lost, give it more cuts, more shuffles, okay, so there's no way I know where your card is. Now, using the power of my mind, I'm going to be able to tell which card you chose. Just based on the, uh, the look on your face and the vibes that I'm getting off of you. Even through, the, through uh, this camera and through the computer screen, I'll be able to tell which card is yours. Gets a little harder now, but I think I can narrow down a couple. And that, the four of spades, is your card. So to do this trick, you're going to need pretty much a normal deck of cards, except for one thing, the backs of the cards can't be symmetrical. So I'm using the Bicycle uh, Rainbow Back deck of cards, and you can see that I have a purple and blue side on uh, one side of the deck, and on the other side of the card there is a uh, greenish yellow and a uh, reddish side. So uh, the significance of that is that if you were to take one card and flip it over, turn it just like that, stick it into the deck, and fan out the cards, one card would be sticking out. Uh, so there are plenty of decks that uh, will allow you to do this. Um, I've got another deck right here. Uh, it's uh, some type of carnival deck, uh, but it's the same type of thing if you were to flip one card over. Uh, this one's a little harder to see, but one card, the smiley, not a smiley face, but the face uh, is turned upside down, so that's the same type of thing right there. Um, a lot of times if you go on vacation or go to a hotel lobby, they'll be selling uh, uh, cards in their gift shops, and here's an example of one. Um, so you can see that they're different on both sides. Uh, up here it says the name of a beach, and up here it says, it uh, doesn't say anything, but there's a sandcastle. So if you were to turn one around, you could see very clearly that there is a difference right here. So this is used for this trick. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory already, but let me just show you. Uh, here's a type of card that wouldn't work. It's just a standard bicycle back. Uh, it's a black tiger, but any standard bicycle deck with a uh, just solid color on both sides isn't going to work. Because if you see, I turn it over. It's the same thing no matter which side because it is symmetrical. So that's not going to work. You're going to want to find something that's not symmetrical. And once you get that, uh, the trick is very simple. You can shuffle it as long as you make sure that you're not shuffling it so that uh, the cards uh, go, they uh, interlace. So you don't want them to shuffle like this. You want them to shuffle so they're all the same. So before you shuffle, just try to uh, use common sense and make sure that they're going to come out so that they are both, uh, both sides of the cards are uh, all facing one direction. You can cut the cards, shuffle them like this all you want. That's probably the safest bet. And then once you're done with that, you're going to have a spectator pick a card. doesn't matter what card they pick. You're going to, as they take the card, very casually, just kind of 
turn it like that, almost like you're just playing with the cards. And you're going to want to face it like that, so then when they turn the card over, uh, when they put it in, it's going to be the opposite direction. So it's going to be like this, as opposed to all the other cards, which are like this. So instead of fanning out the cards and having them put it in, it's a little bit more obvious, uh, you're going to want to just keep it together, take your thumb, riffle down the side, and just tell them to stick it in. Um, so they put their selected card in somewhere in the middle, just like that. Uh, you riffle through the cards, uh, so you show them there, that there isn't a break. At this point, you can uh, flip the cards over. It doesn't matter because one card is going to be opposite no matter which way you turn it. So, as you can see, there is their selected card, which is the two of spades, I believe. Yep, the two of spades. So, from here, the trick's basically done. Uh, you just want to sell it as much as you can. So, you can tell them that you're reading their eyes. Uh, you can tell them that you are reading their minds. Whatever you want to say, you can put a couple cards down at a time like this, just until you get to their card. Uh, you can start from the beginning, very beginning, and just say, uh, I know exactly what your card is just by you looking at it, which is pretty impressive, and just say, just by you looking at it, I can tell that this is your card, the two of spades. And from there, you want to uh, put it in the same direction and then spread them out so that they see that nothing's, uh, nothing's any different than a normal deck. Uh, it's a very cool trick. It's very simple. You may need to be patient when you're trying to look for a deck like this, uh, but if not, you can either order one online or just wait till uh, you come across one. So it's a very cool trick. It works very well, and uh, just have fun with it. If you have any questions, comment. I'll be happy to answer. Thanks for watching.